Welcome everybody to this presentation. I'm Silvia Franceschi and uh, the presentation will be about SMASH, the new application developed by Hydrologist for digital field mapping. <clears throat> During the presentation, I will give you a general introduction of the digital field mapping and uh, the hydrologist position in the digital field mapping. And then we will see the application, uh, what is the expectation and uh, some of its base functionalities. So let me first introduce uh, uh, Hydrologist. We are, we are a very small engineering company placed in Bolzano. Uh, basically, we are two uh, co-founders, Andrea Antonello and me, Silvia. Uh, we are both environmental engineers specializing in hydrology, hydraulics, geomorphology, and forestry. And uh, we, develop the open we develop open source projects uh, like the Horton Machine Library in the field of hydrology, hydraulic, and forestry, SMASH and GeoPaparazzi applications for digital field mapping, and the GeoPaparazzi survey server as a centralized server environment. We are both uh, uh, OSG or charter members. So uh, hydrology's main activities are in the fields of environmental engineering and software development. Regarding environmental engineering, uh, we work uh, uh, on natural hazard, water supply system, wastewater, and urban network. So in general, we have to go in the field and collect the data to support and uh, validate uh, the results of the simulation. And then um, the other side, software, on the other side, software development, uh, we develop software generally in the field of the company activities. All the software we develop uh, are open source uh, and um, we offer services and customization uh, for the development of uh, tools for uh, outdoor activities, organized data collection, cloud mapping, and environmental modeling in general. So um, we can see that we are used to go in the field. So um, in uh, starting from 2010, uh, we decided to uh, start the development of an application uh, for digital field mapping. Uh, the most known application we developed is uh, uh, GeoPaparazzi, which is translated into more than 15 languages, of which Arabic, Korean, and Japanese are fully translated, 100%. And then uh, uh, GeoPaparazzi has more than 10,000 downloads, uh, and we have examples of uh, application of it all over the world, in Africa, Australia, and, uh, of course, Europe. Um, Unfortunately, in 2020, we realized that GeoPaparazzi needed a hardware styling, but because it is only for Android operating system, it is a bit complex and uh, slow to develop because it is Android native language. Uh, it has an old style graphical interface and uh, the usability was thought for professional use and not for standard user. So in 2019, we started the development of a new application called Smash. Smash is for Smart Mobile Application for Surveyors Happiness, and it is basically an application to support outdoor activities for non-expert users. It has a user-oriented graphical user interface, and it is available for both Android and iOS devices. Uh, it is completely free and open source, with Smash, you can collect georeference pictures, notes, and GPS track logs. It features a map view for navigation with the support for different uh, uh, type uh, of raster and vector da data. And uh, it is easy uh, to smash it for Smash to create input and export the data. Uh, you can find Smash uh, on the market of your operating system, so on the Android Play Store or in the Apple Store. Uh, we recommend you that since the word Smash is used for uh, other kind of application, uh, to write uh, the complete name uh, of the application, Smash Digital Field Mapping, to um, look exactly for the application, to find the exact application. So, uh, Smash uh, is very simple, as you can see here. Uh, it opens directly on the map view, and uh, it features a bottom toolbar. And then, uh, both left and right, there are two sliders with the menu 
with the, the less common operations. The base functionalities are integrated all in the bottom toolbar. Starting from left, uh, you can have uh, you you can register simple note, form-based note, uh, a GPS log. Then uh, you can ask for uh, GPS current GPS information, uh, manage the layers view, and then uh, uh, manage the zoom. Zoom with the finger in the map is also supported. Uh, two notes. Uh, the first one is that the behavior of the different uh, um, icons here is different uh, by tapping just one, tapping twice, or long tap. So take care and uh, uh, take a look at the manual to understand the different behaviors. And uh, these small numbers here on the top of each icon are the data type counter. So uh, it is possible to see how many data of each single data you have uh, you have registered and then on the right uh, on the upper right part of the bottom toolbar there is a small handler here from the last version uh, which gives the uh, access to the operations toolbar we will see this operation toolbar uh, later in the presentation um, note that all the data register uh, in a project um, notes, images, and GPS log are saved in a single project database file. So all you need is saved in a single project database file. Regarding the supported format for layer for rasters, uh, we directly support in the map view geopackage raster tiles, map URLs, TMS, and WMS online services. MapsForge offline dot map files, MB tiles, and world images, PNG or JPG with uh, the extension and the projection file. Regarding the vectors, uh, we support GeoPackage vector layers, GPX uh, shapefiles only in reading mode, not in writing. All of these um, vector layers uh, uh, can be styled as SLD standard. Um, <clears throat> In both in reading and writing mode, and that we and uh, they can have their custom coordinate reference system, and uh, it it will be automatically reprojected by the application. Just uh, uh, a note on the form notes, uh, as you can as you saw that um, in job in um, Smash it is possible to register a simple note and the form based note. So. Uh, form-based note follow the same the, uh, specification of uh, geoparazzi. Uh, so uh, we uh, recommend uh, to use uh, the GForm application of the Auto Machine Library to uh, create the um, form and then save the form uh, as the name underscore tag dot JSON and uh, copy this file directly in the uh, form folder of the application on your device and then start the application and the application will automatically load the uh, form in the um, form nodes. Uh, Smash has also uh, some simple import and export directly from the device. Complex nodes can be exported as PDF and project data can be exported as geopackage, all the project data. But there is another way to share the data between uh, the application and others, uh, especially if you have a team of surveyors, and it is the GeoPaparazzi Survey Server, which is a web application that allows the synchronization of the uh, project uh, in of the project of Smash. Uh, this synchronization will be uh, productive because it takes care of different users and of different time step and update of the same project. Um, the Job Apparatus Survey Server, as you can see here in the image, uh, shows uh, a map view and then there are some menus and icons which gives uh, the access to the drawer header, the surveyor's view, the web user view, the project data, and the about view. Then there are some uh, uh, navigation buttons various tools uh, on the upper right part of the map to uh, manage the map and the visualization and if enabled 
At the bottom, you can see the attribute table of all the data uh, visualized uh, in the uh, map view. On the uh, Smash side, uh, once uh, set the, um, the link to the GeoGalaxy Survey Server, it is possible to import and download centralized data, projects, and forms. So it is possible to uh, centralize uh, um, some information, which can be data, but also full projects and forms, and share this data uh, with with a team of surveyors and then all the, uh, each of the surveyor can download uh, the information that uh, we'll use. And then uh, it is possible to export and synchronize directly with the central database the, uh, the data register uh, for each uh, surveyor in each project. And uh, you can choose to uh, synchronize uh, GPS log, pictures, uh, form notes and simple notes. Note that the GeoPaparazzi Survey Server supports the versioning of the nodes, also from different users in the same place, and of course from the same user uh, at different times. The last, from the last uh, um, version of uh, Smash, uh, we integrated the vector editing, and uh, we have this uh, small handler on the, up, on the lower right corner of the map view. And uh, if you <clears throat> click this, tap this, uh, it opens uh, the operation toolbars, which uh, contains all the interactive operations on layer and on the map view. Uh, the, the most important one is the vector editing, vector query attributes, and measuring distance. Uh, vector editing is, a, is active, uh, supported only for geopackage vector layers and it is possible to edit both attributes and geometries. Of all feature types, point, multipoints, line, multilines, and polygon and multipolygons, in their own coordinate reference system. The vector editing is, uh, will be, uh, once activated, is active for all the visible vector layers of a geopackage type, so also from different geopackage databases. And it is possible to modify existing geometries, add a new geometry, delete an existing geometry, and modify the attributes. This is an example of uh, how the vector editing works. For example, to edit a, a feature, um, modify the vertices, and add new vertices, add a new feature, and you will select on which of the visible layer you want to add the feature, and then uh, edit the attribute. Um, note that uh, uh, the, the vector editing is thought to be used with the finger in the field and some of the dimension and uh, distances of, this, uh, of the top and the vertices uh, can be set uh, in the settings menu. So I think uh, this, this is almost everything as an introduction of the application for now. Uh, we are still working hard on the development uh, of uh, Smash because it is really a young application. And uh, we are in particular working on uh, vector editing to use the GPS position, uh, the map center, and the snap. Uh, we want to uh, introduce audio notes uh, so because they are very uh, useful and quick to register in the field. And of course, the multilanguage support because uh, um, with uh, the language we develop in Smash, uh, it is not automatically. So uh, we uh, we have to uh, develop uh, um, the support for multilanguage. Mm. So thanks for your attention. These are uh, some uh, um, links and uh, information about. Uh, uh, Smash and GeoPaparazzi, which share the same website and mailing list. Um, and uh, where you can find uh, uh, the application, the manual, and some uh, online support uh, also from the community. Uh, so thank you for your attention. If you need some help or if you need some uh, information, just contact us. This is my email address and uh, you can contact me uh, also later uh, after the presentation when you whenever you need thank you very much